Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Crystal and this is my third trimester update. Oh my gosh, I'm almost there. I also can't breathe. <laughs> I feel a little, I feel a little extra today. I mean, I have my hair done, I'm wearing lashes, which are probably about to fall off because I've had them on all day long. <laughs> <sighs> but I was laying in bed and I was like, I shouldn't waste this. I shouldn't waste the fact that my hair is curled and my makeup is done and all of that. And I should just film my third trimester update so that it's good to go. Currently, I am 39 weeks and two days-ish. So it depends on like how you calculate the due date. My due date is only <laughs> one day difference than what the doctor's due date is. So I'm either five days away or six days away, which is crazy. And I was debating on whether I should film this video like after I give birth so I can like give you the full 40 weeks. But like I said, I am 39 weeks and a couple of days. So I'm like, that's basically it. So I decided I would just film my third trimester update tonight. Today we did um, a last minute maternity photo shoot, like a family one, not just like me, but with the husband and my son and of course the bump. So this is kind of what I wore. Oh, you can't see it, but I have a brown belt on. Okay, that's awkward. <laughs> but I wore this green dress and of course these hoop earrings and lashes and the whole shebang. So. Again, that's why I decided not to wash it all off and to film this video for you guys. I left my handy dandy notebook in the car because it was in my purse and I, we were like climbing around the park and forest and I was trying to lighten up my purse. So it's in the car and I don't feel like going outside to get it. So I'm going to do everything right off the dome. So here we go. All right, 39 weeks. Whew. Gracious, third trimester has been rough. I mean, I've been going through it with a smile on my face, you know, because obviously we're so excited that we're getting closer and closer to baby boy number two, but I'm so exhausted. So first trimester, you're like drooling. You're so exhausted, right? You're just like so, so, so tired that you just, you just don't want to do anything. You can't do anything and you're nauseous and, and what have you. Um, and if you're like the unlucky ones, you know, you're throwing up and everything else. Um, and then they say it kind of goes away for the second trimester, but mine only went away just a little bit because I was still so, so, so tired. And now in the third trimester, I'm almost back to the exhaustion of the first trimester. I'm like, what is this? I'll be sitting like at the computer and my eyes are literally like crossing in front of my face and I'm like, oh my gosh, I just read that sentence like 10 times. Like, okay, I'm tired. But other than that, like I feel fine. You know, everybody's like, oh, how you feeling? I'm like, I'm fine. Just really tired, really, really tired. So, you know, I get through the day and at the end of the day, when I get home, I'm done. I'm done. I just, lay down on the bed and I'm like okay I'm no longer moving for the rest of the night <laughs> I'm just gonna lay here I'm gonna grow a baby and that's fine <laughs> I mean I, I do feel a little guilty because I'm like I have stuff to do you know like clean the house and get ready for a baby I mean <sighs> gracious there's just so many things to do and I totally have the urge to do it. Like I want to do it. Like mm, that nesting instinct. Like I'm laying in the bed and I'm like, Ooh, I should do this and I should do that. And I really want to do this and get ready for baby by doing this and that and the other, but I'm too exhausted. I'm just like, okay, so, so, so tired. I will get up and I will do like half of a thing. Like, Oh, I should wash baby clothes. So I'll get up, I'll get the clothes and put them in the wash with the special baby soap, you know, and they'll wash and then I'm like, oh, I have to get back up again to put them in the dryer. And I'm like, how, how am I going to get anything done if I'm moving like a sloth? Because I'm so crazy tired. 
I have to be thankful though that this time around I have not gained nearly as much weight as I did the first time. Uh, that could be for several reasons. Um, plain luck. <laughs> Uh, I've still been, you know, going to like physical therapy and stuff and so that's a little bit of a workout a couple times a week. So I'm definitely more active than I was the last time. I'm also older and starting out at a bigger weight. So that could have something to do with it also. But I'm just so, so glad that I didn't gain 70 pounds again because that's what I gained with the first one. Um, I was just like, oh no, if I gain 70 pounds again, it'll be big as a house. <laughs> I was like, no, please no. But you're doing good there. Uh, lots of pressure, of course, because baby right now, depending on what app you look at, and since I have so many on my phone, I have several different fruits and squashes um, for measurement. It's either a small pumpkin or a mini personal watermelon or a winter melon or whatever, depending on the app. So, of course, it's hard to breathe. <sighs> Need to breathe, and my stomach is super, super big. And I, I love the part of pregnancy where you just really look pregnant. Like, even though it's uncomfortable, and you can't really walk very well, and you waddle like a penguin, I love it. I love it. I really do. And um, I don't mind when people ask me, like, oh, like... When are you due? I mean, we went grocery shopping today and after photos and then we had a play date at the park and then grocery shopping, I was moving real slow. I was like, okay, I, I need to sit down. But I was just like, just trying to like keep on pushing through, you know? And another mom holding it with her two little girls in each hand was like, oh, you look like you're almost there. And I'm like, yeah, and she's like, oh, how long? And I'm like, mm, like five days. <laughs> she's like, oh my God. And I'm like, yeah, you know, just walk in. I might walk a baby out. We'll see what happens. But I honestly don't think that I'm going to go early. I mean, I'm already 39 plus weeks. And my obstetrician said that it'll be most likely like my first or similar to. And with my son, the doctor changed my due date from the first original due date to a different to a week ahead so depending on which due date he was either a week late or two days late so either way I'm, I'm in it for the long haul <laughs> I don't think I'm coming early although starting at 36 weeks my doctor you know was checking me internally to see for um, if I'm dilated or if there's anything going on and at first there was nothing and then I was one centimeter and at my last appointment for 38 weeks I was two centimeters dilated so we'll see what happens at the 39 week appointment but um I just like slowly moving and each time TMI warning TMI but it's a pregnancy video so you know what it is but <laughs> each time I lost a part of like my plug and there was a little bit of blood so a little bit of bloody show but I don't it wasn't like my full plug like it was just a little bit like a little bit of discharge with a little bit of blood so I just think that like every time she checks like it uh, just dislodges a little bit of it and that's it because every time like the next day I'm like oh my gosh like did I, did I lose my plug like that's more that's abnormal amount of like vaginal discharge and I'm like oh and then there's blood oh my god um but it's so little that I think I is just like losing it slowly and I looked it up online and um it says that your plug can like regenerate like if you lose part of it and it's still early so I'm like I think that's just what it is like I'm just losing part of it slowly um and only because she keeps checking me don't do the hand motion. Awkward. Um, <laughs> so I think that that's just what that is. Um, baby is head down. So again, lots and lots of pressure. At my last appointment, um, they had a hard time finding 
his heartbeat um they found it but it was hard to get a clear read on it just because i have an anterior placenta so my placenta is in the front of my belly versus anywhere else so scans are harder so they did do an ultrasound which uh my doctor was not planning on but they did do an ultrasound just to make sure he's moving make sure he's growing make sure everything's okay and it was but i mean still I'm like oh my god you get my army oh it's there it's okay it's fine it's just my anterior placenta all right cool you know so I did get to see him one last time before he's born but at that stage you know the, the baby is just so big that he's just like a big old <laughs> just big old mush and so you really can't make a lot of things out but it was still nice to see him and get reassurance that everything is okay um as far as other pregnancy trimester third trimester symptoms um a little bit of swelling but like not a lot i can still wear my rings although they do leave a nice little indent because my fingers are a little bit swollen and some days my feet are a little bit swollen but i'm still wear able to wear all of my shoes and things so that's a plus <laughs> especially like sandals and like flip-flops because it's been so hot i mean today i think it was like 83 degrees so I'm like good because I don't want to wear anything uncomfortable. I just want to be in flip flops and sandals and comfy shoes all day every day. So that's been really good. Uh, let's see. Any other third trimester symptoms? Hmm. Just like a whole lot of waiting. Like, and I found out really early on that I was pregnant, unlike the first time. So I, I've been pregnant like knowingly pregnant for a really really long time and now that it's in the final stretch I'm just like oh, we're finally almost there and I can't wait to meet my little baby boy we still haven't like 100% um, decided on a name one name I like but husband kind of doesn't like it and then my husband and my son like a different name and I don't hate it but I don't necessarily love it so we might go with a combination of both names <laughs> um but it's just been so hard because all of our names start with Chris and I there's no other boy names that I like that start with Chris so or even with a C so I'm like, okay, because everybody asked me that. They're like, are you gonna, you know, try and like keep it in the same name family? And I'm like, mm, but I don't really like any of the other C names. So maybe not. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, all right. You know, so we'll have to see what happens there. I started packing all of my bags and stuff. But again, like I get halfway there, I'm like, all right, mm. doctor bags halfway packed, <laughs> hospital bags halfway packed, but neither one of them are fully packed. So I really just need to like get on there and um, once I do, I'll film videos for those as well. Those will probably go up mm, before this video just because I think it kind of makes more sense, but I just wanted to start with this video. All right, you guys, I think that's it for me. So if you have, if you're pregnant too, let me know in the comments below. Let me know how your third trimester has gone for you. If you've had like crazy symptoms or if you're just like me and just exhausted and like can only halfway nest because that's my current problem. And it, of course, like my pelvis hurts really bad. That's why I've been going to like physical therapy and stuff and I've been keeping up with my Kegels and everything. So. Hopefully that also helps when the time comes. Um, but yeah, other than that, those are like the biggest things. So let me know down below in the comments if you're pregnant too, because I feel like everybody's pregnant right now and everybody's announcing like, oh, I had my baby, oh, I had my baby. And they're all due after me. <laughs> so I'm just like, wait, I was pregnant first. And you guys are all having your babies before me. I'm like, Oh my gosh, well, 
he is just cooking. You know, he's he's comfortable, he's chilling, and I'm grateful that everything is okay. Thank you. <sighs> so, um, yeah, it's just kind of funny. Like, they're all... The last three birth announcements, you know, like on social media with, like, my network of people, they were all due after me. <laughs> A week, two weeks after me, and I'm like, oh, well, I'm still cooking. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching my third trimester update. And if you would like, go ahead and subscribe and you will see a couple more little baby videos from me. And yeah, I'm so super excited <laughs> to meet our little boy. And I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. I forgot to mention my nose is still stuffed. I cannot wait until I can take really good allergy medicine because I have Claritin and Benadryl, they haven't done anything for me. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hmm? Oh. People be calling me. They call Tyrone. No, I'm kidding.